Gourmet. Today we're going to be doing shrimp stuffed peppers. get a nice hot saute pan. We're going to get a little bit of oil in there, just enough to coat the bottom. I'm going to swirl this around. And we're going to start off by adding some diced up garlic, some diced up onion, or sliced onion rather, a little bit of diced tomato, and some diced up peppers. bit of diced up mushroom as well. We're going to let this cook for a little bit and we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, well while we're letting that stuff cook, we're going to take our bowl of shrimp. I've got raw shrimp that I've peeled and deveined. I'm going to take some blackening seasoning, just kind of cover the top, and a quick splash of white wine. I'm using the Sauvignon Blanc today. I kind of like the fresh flavor to it and it's going to match very well with the bell peppers. We're just going to want to pour about an ounce worth of wine on there, and we're just going to want to mix these guys up nice and thoroughly in here. And we're just going to let this sit while the veggies over there finish off. Okay, so now we've given the veggies in this pan a few minutes to cook. We're going to add our shrimp with the blackening seasoning and white wine. We're going to want to get these into the pan. We're actually going to want to start folding some of these peppers, tomatoes, onions, and mushrooms on top just to let all their flavors soak down into the shrimp while they're cooking. And while we've got that going, we're going to put a little layer of spinach leaves over top. We're just going to want to let it sit like this, let the spinach slowly wilt down while that shrimp underneath is nice. While you've got this stuff cooking on your saute pan, you're going to want to get your oven set to about 350 beforehand. So this way it'll be nice and hot and ready to go as soon as you get your peppers stuffed up. Once your shrimp gets close to about cooked and your spinach has got a nice deep green from being wilted, you want to just start getting everything nice and consist nicely mixed up so you got, you know, you're not getting a bite where it's just all tomatoes or all shrimp. You want everything kind of mixed up. Well. I've got about two cups of cooked white rice. We're going to just start throwing that right on top of the shrimp and all these veggies. And we're just going to want to get that nice and mixed in. And pretty much as soon as you get your rice mixed in, you can actually turn off the heat on the stove. Everything else we're going to be doing up here will be fine just on whatever leftover heats in the pan. Now the last step before we start stuffing these guys is I've got a mix of this one is going to be feta and locatelli cheese. We're going to want to just dump that in. And then I got just a nice tube of soft goat cheese mixed up with fine herbs. We're going to want to get these in. With the goat cheese you're going to want to break it up by hand a little bit. So it is a little on the sticky side. And then you're going to want to start mixing it up. <laughs> To give this a little extra flair, a little bit of sweet chili sauce is a wonderful addition. 
a tiny little bit will go a very long way though. This stuff can be very hot. You don't want to overpower any of the flavors. You just kind of want to add to it and give it a little extra kick. <laughs> Before you stuff your peppers, you can take it after you've hollowed it out and gotten the seeds out, put it into a bowl, pour just a little bit of oil onto it, and you're actually just going to want to rub some oil just so you have a nice coat on the outside. It'll give us a nice sheen. You just want a nice slippery slick pepper to stuff up. The final bit of work you're going to be doing for these, you're going to be taking your stuffed pepper mix, you just want to get a nice big spoon, and just start cramming it right into that pepper. You can use the speck of the spoon, push down, be gentle, you don't want to pop your pepper open. You just want to get it nice and filled, and you just want to pack it in there as much as you can. After you're done, we're just going to put it into a nice oven safe dish, and we're going to keep stuffing for a little bit. Well, sometimes I get to drinking, but I never wonder why my body's used to keep on going till I die. So now I've got my peppers in a pan. My oven's preheated to 350. We're going to put these guys in for about 10 minutes. And we'll be back with you in a sec with the next step. So we've given our peppers about 10 minutes in the oven. We're going to switch our oven over to broil. Now, this oven has separate broilers. Some, it'll just be in there. But you just want to get these guys down so they get a little bit of direct heat on them. It's going to cook, brown up the outside of the skin a little bit and give it a little extra flavor. Alright, now you only want to give your stuff in the broiler about three, maybe four minutes at the most. They're going to cook quick. This is also why we put that oil on the outside of the peppers. But you see it's getting a nice little bit of color. That's going to help get some of those oils that are in the pepper to soak into the filling. But here's your finished product. A little crispy on the top. All that cheese will kind of gratiné. Peppers are a little dark on the outside and absolutely chock full of flavor. Uh, enjoy and hope you like it. I'm Eddie the Skinhead Gourmet. Oi. Just drink another.